except that when she was still in high school, her parents died. Yeah. And, and, and that was just not true. Yeah, that was so misquoted. Yeah. Because my mother had to come and kidnap us, but I didn't know it was my mother at the time of the kidnapping. Okay. It's quite a story. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm kind of deaf on one side because my father tried to kill my mother in the house, was shoot at her with a gun. And, and she, he shot between us, and that's why I'm kind of deaf on one side. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. That was well, he had a posse out looking for us. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this was really... This sounds... This was really, um, like, like you... Like, it yeah. sounds like some good old Texas Western. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, with so many artists that got kind of taken to the cleaners, have you been... Oh, I've been cleaned and washed okay. and cleaned. <laughs> all, right. all we knew back then was... We wanted to sing, and that's all we wanted to do right. was make the music. Right. But too bad we didn't stop to learn the business. There's two words, show business, yeah. and believe yeah. me, they are separate. That's right. And, and they says, Maxine, you remember when this happened? I said, you all remember that? Because I never talk about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be who we are today. Did the mob then try to take... Uh their cut of they no not try they took they, oh, okay they took their they cut took, <laughs> they took their cut they says I'll turn okay hey did you hear they stopped with the with the phone and did you hear this bad song called maybe it's all in my mind girl <laughs> And I saw that, and I kept typing. Uh, I didn't say a word. I didn't let them know Why? it was me. Why? I was nervous. I didn't. I didn't want to get fired because. And Florence Greenberg had this unusual, high-pitched voice. Hey, <laughs> when are you going to leave that company and come over to a real company and be recorded by us and be with us? I said. Before, um, Dave Godden who was like sort of the guru of soul over there, he said that All In My Mind was the first soul record. So I know that they were very, very big supporters of your music. Yes, did, did, they you, were. did you find that initially when you went over there? Oh, God, I, I couldn't believe it that the songs they knew, they could tell me <laughs> who wrote it, who was on the session, I don't remember, yeah. you know, but they knew all your history and they really get into the artist. Mm -hmm. and, they know more, probably, unknown to us over here, the artists. Right. They know everything about every artist that was a man. Right. But we hit the floor, and so we started dancing, mm -hmm. and so Sam said, how do you do that? <laughs> so we, and so he chimed in, and so the three of us were out on the dance floor right. doing this dance. Jet Magazine happened to have been there, a right. the photographer from there. And that's how uh, uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Right and get your so-and-so in here tomorrow and you're opening tomorrow with Marvin Gaye because Tammy's sick. So questions, 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 they're coming at me. And all of a sudden, it's like Moses parted the way <laughs> and Marvin came through says, leave the young lady alone. I've got it. And they part, it's like the wave parted right. and they all left me. And uh, he said, you all right? I said, yeah instruments and his scope and everything and he looks down my throat he's oh my god all of a sudden he stopped being white prejudice <laughs> and he became a doctor yeah and he looked down my throat this bone was wedged sideways into my throat and he had to get the proper instruments to get this some disturbance coming into town we said let's hurry up and do this gig and let's get out of here right and sure enough we, that night at the gig they collected so many guns and knives at the door because they had people searched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was that because people were ready to rumble mm -hmm. that night. So all of a sudden, um, I would learn the song, come back. So this particular day, I was in the studio early. They were late getting back. So the one of the horn players ran up behind Otis and said, Man! If you don't do something about that damn plane, it's going to kill us one day. And I happened to look up. Ooh. Ashton Simpson did play a big part in, in my career in Chuck Jackson's. Uh, they were the staff writers at Scepter mm -hmm. after Dion kind of left us and she went on. And, and then uh, 
so Ashlyn Simpson was there to write for all of us on the. Uh, we were trying to do what Motown was right. was, was doing, and so and they were good, and, oh, yeah. and then we, I did a lot of their. Uh, you can say the word British invasion, and it's cute, and it says, but what does it really mean? It meant that the invasion meant that it put a lot of people stateside out of work. Yeah. Because that music was, it was a new era. Right. Because we were listening to Steve and Edie Gourmet, Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis. We were mm -hmm. listening to all of the, the, the good pop singers and right. the good, the good R&B singers and everything. And then when that British invasion hit everybody, it hurt. It hurt all yeah. across the lines. Right. And you, t you took notice because he was a man to be noticed. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, so talent. And I'm left handed too. That's, that's right, what right. took me, you know, mm -hmm. caught my attention, uh, playing the guitar left handed and everything. So we met in England and then, when, then we met a second time at Frank's. And so this, but we just said hello in England, but over here, so now we're sitting, we're trying to get the meeting together and everything. And he, and he finally noticed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, female, male, female, you know? Right. And he said, hey, hey. And I said, no. <laughs> and, that's about, and that's about, that's about it. He said, oh, come on, oh. just come on. Put this over. It's I'm on my own of a smash. You day has sent for a soy me picture. Oh. I'm a man who loves